so mom yesterday uh, how to deal with the uh, errors or exceptions in the other components to handle so while we are handling so we are just getting the first status of the response is a, is there a success or is there an error then in if success then we'll just show a, a success message if it is a fail then generally uh, we can show a fail message so yesterday we were trying to get some error okay so so first I'm just uh, uh, like seeing what what are the errors available out of which errors I'm just checking field error and then primary email ID error what is the email error I'm just checking so now you can see that in the logs whatever the error that we are getting so the error is generally you see a data I'm filling is wrong data which is not a correct email ID so we are going to see that today in a logs or in a lot basically I'm feeling everything is correct but not the email ID okay so let's say I'm feeling everything is correct pan number other number is correct only but email ID is not correct okay now we should get that invalid email ID okay so you see in the alert first we will see list of errors and then out of which the uh, one error which is email okay now save this we are first you are getting the, the all list of errors and then save it and you see a primary email ID message like invalid email address so this is the actual message that we can show to the user that out of these errors this is the error okay so we can assign that the same thing like whatever here uh, like a putting in a <clears throat> alert so here okay um, then you just no need to put everything just put errors of zero if errors are there and the first error we will just show this one error message okay now uh, let's refresh now we are going to expect uh, this show toast message okay and then error message okay now error message will be uh, this one uh, like uh, invalid email ID okay now just try okay save it as soon as you save email ID is not correct so we supposed to get some error error the record is not created invalid email address you see invalid email address okay so if suppose they give a email address correctly and the in the format of Gmail or any any mail format then it will save Um, so I hope it is not coming inside so now let's I mean it is not giving a success message now let's verify it is created in the system backend or not It looks like it is not created um, so let's verify the log why is not created pan pan required field missing pan So uh, we had given a pan also, but uh, looks like it is taking only numbers. Okay, so what else we can do? Now we are just checking one kind of issue, uh, right? Basically supposed to show us. Okay, so now let's try again refresh this 
and try again name phone number and then email id other and then i was giving some names and all right save this first it will give you a error okay that's fine i'll give you a gmail.com because my email id is incorrect now my data is correct now let's save okay so basically it is coming now okay so it's supposed to come here save it just commented okay try again save field errors okay some error is coming why is this not coming okay so now uh, it's coming inside here errors of zero uh, but errors of zero is there then error message is not showing if error message is not there at least it should show here okay, let me try why is not coming inside here so some message has to show uh, inside detail error either it should come here or it should come here and then it should show I may show me a toast message uh, now as of now it's just printing this one but not sure whether it is coming inside or not okay if errors of zero okay so let me try now This record is not yet inserted. I'm giving email ID correct this time, but not the PAN code. Okay, I'm giving some. So let's first verify what kind of data type it is. Uh, will it accept numbers only, or will it accept text? PAN is text only it should accept the text okay uh, length is 15 that's why maybe okay length is correct only okay save it so and now inside detail error okay so it's coming inside detail error uh, okay here something is problem So now you see here it's coming inside here but basically error is something different now you see save it again we used to get field message error now it's a page message error required field missing it's a page message error so it's common like you will be getting different kinds of errors now we handle one kind of error actually earlier primary email id error we, we are handling so we are just getting field messages like this okay now this is something is not there now field error messages and primary email id is the error is not there means 
you don't have such error so it's unable to fetch this the, the whatever we are writing here is unable to fetch okay so that's why it's failing here so to prevent this generally what we can do we don't know what kind of errors it's coming right what we can do we can try this in a apex class or generic message you just give a generic message like this incorrect data okay just simply some incorrect data because you don't know it every time it's changing the message sometimes it will show a page message sometimes it will show field message okay now earlier whatever we were tracking about field message so here it was not page error it was a field errors and inside the field errors one field it was showing for that field it's saying that uh, required field missing now it's a different page error okay so now we didn't track this one okay so either we need to track like this okay or give a generic message means if this is there if this is there primary is there then show a primary status code if page messages are there okay means like this uh, you see now page messages page errors and then and then status code or a message you can do message page messages of zero okay dot message okay now what you can do you are doing two kinds of errors you are tracking now if field errors then primary email ID error then get the status code or a get message okay status code you can put or a message similar way now you need to do here also you are doing error messages and then you are checking errors then check a field errors uh, basically it's not a field error we should check for page errors now page errors inside the page errors okay uh, are you uh, get the message like this now you see save it um, now you save this um, line number 32 errors of zero page error messages message save it now you see if field errors then get the field primary email id if it is page error then get the page message else simply show some unknown incorrect data something okay now save it and then try now you see still you will get error okay page errors this 
so why is not coming means it's simply a problem of uh, this one just let me just get it back now I will just try again with see first of all I am getting the errors now just just check now what errors will come what page messages will come let's let's see a refresh um, save it so this is page errors and inside the page errors you are getting a message okay this is page errors yes page errors are there and inside the page errors zero dot message page errors of zero dot message So let me just print this actually it's not coming inside okay um, now dot put like this page error of zero dot status code just like this we need to get the message as well message as well like this let's print Uh, so basically this is not coming inside so nothing is showing for you or uh, it's coming inside but it's not unable to access something so that's why it's uh, giving you error uh, so what I will do I will just stringify this page message errors first it's all something like uh, you know debugging so what kind of error you are getting and what you need to do it's just debugging okay um, status code just like this I will do JSON dot stringify of page errors refresh and see so first I will try with a alerts and if I get an exact message I will just assign that to a variable So I am giving now email correct but what the error is coming is I will just show you um, even though you are giving a number or you are giving a text it will text because the data type is text backend but in the Apex you are not entering any text sorry any any pan so this is a reason that it's failing it doesn't find out pan still you are entering in the UI but in the apex it's not taking so it says that uh, there is a no pan but this is required in a backend okay so now it's basically not a, a data problem now it's a, a backend apex code problem okay uh, so that we need to fix that so what will happen like this user is filling correct data now Save this now field errors and whole errors are coming here click on ok mm. okay so first let me try this this is coming page errors page errors
so I'm just uh, printing inside if errors are there then I'm trying to take this one okay, let me do like this maybe it's not it's not uh, coming inside field errors field error So somewhere exception is coming that's why it's not printing properly now just do like this other and then pan just save it field errors okay I just wanted to get the error so that just to display it in the UI different types of errors field messages now you see page error in the page error you are getting this status code and message then you are getting this one now page error is coming now you see this error pan card is missing now what I will do I will just remove everything now I'm just checking if field errors are there and then is this field error not equals to null then come here otherwise come here so it's coming here now now here it is checking what is the page errors message the message will show now you here in the toast toast message now save this now we haven't fixed anything but just I'm just showing the different kinds of errors how to show a different errors, kind of errors if errors are there then if it is a field errors and then a particular field error we can check like this if a particular field error is there then go inside and show the message or a status code or a message you can put a message also now okay if it's not a primary email add message or primary email add error something else just come here and if it is a page error then take a page error message okay and displace it like this you can you can generally track multiple errors and then show appropriate messages to the users if none of these matches then it will go to unknown error okay and then same error message here will show to the user a record is not created and comma and then whatever the message dynamic message now now refresh and see multiple errors we can track now not only one error more than one error you see first of all I will enter wrong email address it's supposed to give me first email ID um, I think again it primary email ID message status code only you just put it and then refresh save it so there is a uh, uh, the record is not created required field pan is missing so we are we are generally giving a pan card number but it's not creating because this is a, actually a bug okay the QA team will test now you said that development is done whenever you are giving a uh, or somehow it is passed for you otherwise you not tested properly okay and then you are just uh, you know passing this to QA QA team will test it and then giving the data and failing and they will assign a bug for you and then says that this is not working I'm giving a pan card number still message show that their required fields are missing pan so it says that pan card is missing okay so now you just need to look into it why this error is coming you can just generally go for a kind of 
debug logs in the developer console or you can put a debug logs in the setup also like go to setup from the sidebar you just write a debug log okay so you create a debug log also here for yourself you also can see here otherwise uh, you can see debug logs in uh, your debug logs here in your debug log um, developer console okay so it says that insert failed here okay why insert failed you need to see this just open this double click on this it will open you see here required fields are missing pan card so required field is missing whenever you insert you are creating a record dynamically using apex okay using this apex code you are creating a data but you miss to populate this field okay pan card is somebody is already giving from the ui but you are you, you know somebody removed or maybe yourself you uh, forgot to keep this mandatory field to field to be inserted so you will get this error it's simple like generally any mandatory fields that are required whenever you create a new record generally right so whenever you create a new record whatever the mandatory fields are there this is a mandatory field this is a mandatory field those fields programmatically are maybe uh, like a process builders flows wherever you are creating apex wherever you are creating mandatory fields you need to populate okay so now this is error so you don't want it to show this kind of errors again uh, generally we are tracking now some error and displaying it here right so this is one approach I am saying the another approach you don't want it to do it everything in the ARA component you want to do it in the apex level then you can do also here a kind of try catch block okay so in the catch you can catch the exception what kind of exception it is this everything you can put in a try okay everything you just keep in the try okay means actual code will execute here and then if it is having any issue it will come to catch block okay so this is try this is catch okay so we can catch any issues here what how can you catch means this is the exception uh, this is catch is some method it automatically catches the exception so if you were right like e dot okay and then it will show the all the message types methods available for that exception you wanted to get a message you will get the message you wanted to get something like you know uh, line number also it will give you where it is failing and then you see um, stack type uh, message means it will give you a detailed message okay these kind of things it will give you but everything it will give you in a string format okay you can do like this message so you can store like this okay and then uh, you can say here stack trace string okay so now this is uh, generally the way of you know handling now even though it's failing backside it will not show you in the front end any error it will not show but it will not create at the same time it will not create also it's failed but it will not show you any errors here okay so you wanted to avoid throwing in exceptions in a front end you can use try catch blocks in the apex level or you can catch those kind of issues in the javascript like this and then show an error message or a success messages okay uh, so now let's say uh, illegal assignment from integer now let's say you have messages like this okay first of all you would like to give a some written type here now we are not returning anything anything we are just returning void give me one sec i will just put a uh, charger
now uh, so what we are doing is we are this is called as exception handling in apex first whatever the you wanted to do uh, actual message actual code you will put it in a try and then you wanted to catch exceptions you can do here so now you wanted to return success or a false then you can write here okay something like success um, you can write a string message so let's first declare like this message okay and if it is inside success try try is a success so you are setting everything and message is you can say success okay if you wanted to sh uh, show an error message you can say error okay this will give you just a error or success but only two things it will give you okay now it will just give you generally a success okay a message is already there showing a final message let's say a written message so you see here one error is coming line number 41 it's showing you see duplicate variable message okay it says that I'm uh, in Chile I was uh, doing like this right here message so already I declared one internal string which is a message and then again I'm uh, declaring as a message two times you are declaring the same variable uh, it is available globally and internally you are declaring again so it will give you an error okay uh, same duplicate message error now either you need to change here or you need to change here so I will just put this one only final message this is the message you wanted to show and then yeah so now this is just you, you will be showing a error or a, a success or a error okay um, so what you can do now is you can just uh, print like this uh, success and then record ID customer dot ID means you will get an ID okay if it is success it will go here in the try catch uh, try block and you will you can print a success and then here is the record ID okay the record ID you can just print if you want final message error here is the error then you can just print this all the errors like what is the error message okay plus line number plus what is a stack trace stack trace is some kind of uh, detailed message now you are giving a final message you are storing it in a final message you can return that written message okay so here instead of wide you just write a string now <clears throat> now you are keeping a try catch block so you will not get any time error in the JavaScript you always will get a always you will get a just this success message only success message only because you are handling it in the apex itself if any error is also there it will go to catch black it will not give you errors okay so again if you wanted to give a success or error we are just writing some message here okay try it is successful in a try then it will give you a success message if it is failed here then it will come here just error this is a some custom message we are building now this custom message will come here okay and generally state will give you a success now because you are handling that in a try catch block so always it will give you a success even though there is a failure okay let's say you did not set this one on code so let's say you haven't set this uh, pan card right uh, let's say this pan card you are missing now 
even though actually earlier it was failed but now it will not fail it will come here in a catch it will give you a success message only to the javascript but in the javascript what we can do we are returning now the message what message is it a success message fail message okay we can check that now instead of state now we don't need to check a state because it's always comes a success message now you can instead of this you can just try return value get return value return value generally whatever the returning from the apex it will give you right so I can just do like this what's the return value um, or I would like to do this uh, I don't want it to change this let it be like this only uh, let us create a new component so that we can do a difference let's keep like this as it is this component is handling uh, errors at a, at a uh, JavaScript level now let us write a same component same code but we'll see how to handle it from the apex now I'm going to write create customer data one I will put okay create customer um, data one component okay now save this so same code I will use in this component as well and then controller I will change so here similar component but uh, just controller we will not do everything like this we will just remove it we don't require everything now here also uh, we'll just first save this and try we will write a one class also okay class name is same like this customer data controller one I will put now uh, in this controller we are writing this method I will take this method and just keep here okay now we have everything ready so in this also we'll just remove whatever was there earlier just keep like that it's a wired data type and we are not having any any try catch blocks I will just remove everything so I'm just doing control Z so control Z is something uh, undo so control Z if you do control Z whatever the code we are returning earlier it will just go back to that code okay now this was the code earlier this was the code earlier the similar code we will use here also but the only thing is we are introducing now try catch blocks try catch blocks we are using try and then catch in the try if you are giving any error it will go to catch now save this and then come here so you just print a alert statement just put a alert statement state it's always gives a state success because we are handling the error here in the JavaScript uh, HT uh, sorry uh, Apex itself okay uh, it will give you a always uh, basically we are just giving a now string message let's let's not give a string as well just put a wide we are not going to return anything now just put a normally just just put a try catch block no error message also just message also just final message also just comment this now it was there earlier but just we use try catch blocks now Apex will give you a success message only it will not give you error message whenever you called here okay let's print the state and see okay check the state what state is coming now uh, let's create a another lightning page okay create a lightning page or create a tab <coughs> go to <coughs> go to tabs and create a tab or what you can do you can put in a home page as well or wherever you want you can keep now let's say plan details 
in the plan details once you open this you wanted to create a customer you can create a customer you can introduce a button also here in this okay one button okay uh, if you click on that button you wanted to see some uh, pop-up then you can create a quick action okay here in this object also plan details anywhere you can call this uh, component now go to object go to quick actions okay now we are doing something different the same component instead of displaying a page like this page customers lightning page instead of this page we are going to call this whatever the new component we created from the plan object as a button like this once you open a plan you wanted to associate some customer to this plan or you wanted to create a new customer from here also you wanted to create then introduce like these buttons a new button in the object so now we are in this object a plan object plan detail object in the plan detail object go to buttons and links you create a new action so here also you can select a lightning component and then your lightning components will display here okay and then select whatever you want now we are having a cust create customer data one component so, so generally you wanted to display any or you wanted to use any component as a quick action or a button like in the buttons like this your component should have this implements and then this uh, lightning quick action okay so this will be generally selected uh, it automatically coming whenever you select this this one quick action if you select this automatically this will comes here if it is there then only this component create the customer data one component will be available whenever you create a new quick action new action okay now I'm selected this new uh, create customer one component and then give a name uh, create customer okay save it now this one one quick action is created this will be available in the same object you just add it to page layout so that it will be displayed in the layout go to quick mobile and mobile and lightning actions so here mobile and lightning actions to override and then here you just uh, whatever you don't want you just remove it from here okay uh, from the mobile lightning actions you remove whatever you don't want put whatever you want uh, means like you see generally whenever you open the plan details you see different kinds of buttons or quick actions available you don't want to uh, all this just remove it if you don't want in a page layout go to mobile and lightning actions remove whatever you don't want just drag and drop like this uh, and generally if you drag like this it's selecting everything um, so generally place mouse uh, on this button and then drag it generally drags it's showing me something like uh, different now it's, it's not working but it is drag and drop uh, so whatever you drag and drop these things will go top you see when i get alert i'm just drag and drop here so get alert now so you can choose some children the gray color lo choose this one because then you play to the nikon is kind of niche this is the no you put your name actually it will work out on you know drag and drop change man we can check it and this is the number of remotes now we put okay a lot in a remote age you there was a man and create chasing it would add change you can make create chasing the entity create customer color create customer you couldn't shoot and you think I had a little bit of a add a intel also than to gray color loss of it it's not dragging dragging here let me save this quick save change to manamu let us save change to let me save save change the put actually manamu you could know a any remote yes I'm just edit to few mother of it I'm money edit just on some actually it is not working you put my line in mobile quick actions locally mana name create is another Jesse create customer create customer and I done it is coach here could get drag and drop just on it okay you put 
ఈ యాక్షన్ కనిపిస్తుంది మనకి అక్కడ సో ఇప్పుడు క్రియేట్ కస్టమర్ అని క్లిక్ చేస్తే యాక్చువల్లీ ఇంతకుముందు ఏమైతే మనం ఇక్కడ లైట్నింగ్ పేజ్లో క్రియేట్ చేస్తున్నామో ఇలాంటి కంపోనెంట్ని నేను ఇప్పుడు బటన్ ద్వారా చేస్తున్నాను అంతే అంటే ఓకే ఇప్పుడు యాక్చువల్ ఫంక్షనాలిటీ వేరే చెక్ చేస్తున్నాం బట్ జనరలీ మనం పేజ్ లాగా చూస్తాం కదా ఇక్కడ పేజ్లో డ్రాగ్ అండ్ డ్రాప్ చేసి పేజ్ యొక్క అవుట్పుట్ ఇక్కడ చూస్తున్నాం కదా లైట్నింగ్ పేజ్ క్రియేట్ చేశాము లైట్నింగ్ ట్యాబ్ క్రియేట్ చేశాము లాస్ట్ టైం ఇలాంటి ట్యాబ్స్ ఒకటి క్రియేట్ చేశాము ఇప్పుడు ఒక బటన్ లాగా చూస్తున్నాం ఇదే కాంపొనెంట్ని ఒక బటన్లో క్లిక్ చేస్తే ఎలా రావాలనే చూస్తున్నాం ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ మనం టెస్ట్ చేస్తున్న ఫంక్షనాలిటీ ఏంటంటే ఫ్రంట్ ఎండ్లో ఏ డేటా ఇచ్చినా సరే యాక్చువల్గా ఇంతకు ముందు అయితే మనము కాంపొనెంట్లో ఎర్రర్స్ ట్రాక్ చేసి కాంపొనెంట్లో చూపిస్తున్నాం ఎర్రర్స్ ఇప్పుడు కాంపొనెంట్లో ట్రాక్ చేయలేదు ట్రాక్ యాచ్ బ్లాక్ యూజ్ చేసాము ట్రాక్ యాచ్ బ్లాక్ అనేది అపెక్స్లో ఎర్రర్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ మెకానిజం అనమాట ఒకవేళ ఎర్రర్ వచ్చినా సరే అదేం చూపియదు క్యాచ్లోకి వెళ్ళి అది క్యాచ్ చేసుకొని పెట్టుకుంటుంది అంతే ఓకే సో ఇప్పుడు జస్ట్ చెక్ చేద్దాము ఏం ఎర్రర్స్ అనేవి వచ్చినా సరే నేను ఇన్వాలిడ్ ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి ఇచ్చినా సరే అది ఎర్రర్ చూపియదు నాకు ఓకే ఇప్పుడు ఎందుకంటే నేను హ్యాండిల్ చేస్తున్నా అక్కడ ఎర్రర్ చూపియద్దు ఏమి క్రియేట్ చేయొద్దు ప్లస్ చూపియని కూడా చూపియద్దు సో సపోజ్ ఏమైనా ఇచ్చినా సరే సేవ్ చేస్తే సో స్టేట్ స్టేట్ అయితే ఎర్రర్ వస్తుంది స్టేట్ ఎర్రర్ వస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు ఓకే ఐ థింక్ యా స్టేట్ ఎర్రర్ త్రోయింగ్ స్టేట్ ఎర్రర్ చూపి యా ఐ థింక్ ఐ షోయింగ్ ఎర్రర్ ఆల్సో నౌ బట్ వీఆర్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ సంథింగ్ హియర్ వీ క్యాన్ షో ఎ మెసేజ్ ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ టు జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ ఆల్సో హౌ మీన్స్ we can written a message like this a custom message from apex as well we are storing the message and then written here write a written statement in the method string written data type this one and then we are returning some message success message or error message okay this message you can now show here by writing like any variable like this message from apex something is equals to response dot get return value so return value is what apex is sending in our apex will send whatever the return statement is there whatever the return statement is there here is final message the final message will be changing if it is a try catch if it is a try one error will come uh, one message will come if it is a catch another error will come okay so now save it now you are getting some message uh, from the apex that message you can show here you can show this here so here also you can just say this okay this message will come from apex now okay uh, re, uh, come here and then refresh and create a customer and see create customer now basically we are giving a data but actually in the apex we are not setting correctly so now um it's supposed to show an error message get return value just put a alert so it has to show me a message now create customer um whatever the error message is coming from apex should show now 
so let's see I am not giving a email ID save it error null okay why null is coming where response dot get written value R E T U R N written value written final message sec we will just see why is not displaying uh, we supposed to get now data get written value this is correct right get written value okay so we supposed to get now uh, message let's refresh and try again and see what are the message if suppose it's success success message error error message should come hmm. some phone number I'm giving and email ID wrong giving and then save it error okay fine why null is coming Okay, let me let me drag and drop in this page and see the same component I will try it from different page and see whether we are getting error or not now I will create the I will drag and drop the uh, this component save it this is from uh, create customer and then this is create customer one component okay now we are handling two kinds of errors one is in the from the JavaScript one is from the Apex class now let me try this here save it error null okay so I have uh, the problem is you see here I'm not using correct controller here okay I should use correct controller now you will get a proper result controller name I have changed right different controller I'm not using correct controller So I'm not fast giving some uh, something uh, proper email ID. Let's save it. Success, uh, success message. So this is the problem basically. Uh, but you see, uh, it's basically uh, error. It is showing right. Then if it is error, then why? State is error. Let me try this again. It's supposed to show in a red color. Um, okay, let's uh, save this and see success. Yeah, yeah. That's basically it's correct only. Uh, you see, whenever you write a, a try catch block, it will give you a always uh, a message. But the mess uh, the written type the status always if you, you put a try catch block here try catch block it will always return you a success but why it is printing a uh, error alert here status alert let me try again and see or uh, try from this now try from this now and see click here create customer I suppose to get this as an error message should not give me a success say this is giving me success okay yeah so this is expected only see I was saying 
if you don't use try catch blocks you see here we'll just compare now two classes this is some class which doesn't have any try catch block okay if any errors are coming it will give you a status or a state as a error so here the state will give you a error in the javascript okay error uh, not here just go up here state response dot get state whenever you call any apex and you find any issue then it will give you a error okay and to track the those errors in a javascript we are checking if it is success then throw a a toast message success else get the errors and then and then d dc lies are uh, are departs it and then display correct error okay this is one way the other way doing we are is we are not getting the any errors here means we are not getting like okay is this the error is this the error we are not checking if else multiple if, multiple if else conditions okay even though you are getting error from our the insert is failed insert is failed in the apex level but we introduce now here try catch blocks now you have not write written as correct uh, code your code is failed here insert statement is failed even though it is failed it won't give you an error because we are catching that error and generally we are returning some message so it always give you a success now okay even though there is a record is creation is failed it won't throw you an error okay so now it is giving you always success so now we are showing some message you can uh, check here is message contains error then throw a red color if message contains a success then don't throw okay now this state will not work state is always success only because we are catching errors in the try catch block okay now what you can do you can check this now if this message uh, we can say some contains something some methods are there string methods javascript string methods javascript string method to check a string particular value so I want to use some javascript function now includes I will use a dot includes of success success so now you see what is the message from the apex if message includes a success then throw a success otherwise throw an error okay now let's try now click on this so I am writing everything data correct but actually in Apex itself there is error but it won't throw error right now save it error will throw like this but we are not handling the, it in the JavaScript we are handling it in the Apex in the Apex you see here error here is error insert failed first exception on a row required field missing required fields are missing pan okay and it's showing that in this class okay and then this is the method this is a line number this is a column so this is more of a custom message we are showing we are getting any message you are getting any message it will just come here if it is pan card error if it is a primary email adder any error kind of error will show here now we see what is a message what is the line number what is a stack trace stack trace is now something like this uh, it will show just to give you a detailed message okay <clears throat> now what you can do suppose you are not giving some email ID then also you will get a some message you don't need to track multiple if conditions you see first error in uh, primary email ID message I mean like primary email ID email ID address is invalid it is showing okay you don't want it to show all these things like insert failed okay here is the message like that 
you want just a message primary email id error okay yeah, email id is not correct you just print this mess uh, like just message only you don't want any line number stack trace you can remove it just say a message okay just message refresh here and see so you see now here invalid email address only it will show what email what is a problem okay but basically this is an exception handling now you need to fix it what what as a developer you need to fix now you need to have a look into why is this problem why is not inserting then you just observe that okay pan card is missing okay customer dot pan by looking at this error you should know okay okay uh, pan card is missing somebody is passing here in the front end but it is not going to back end of x class okay then you need to see okay where are we inserting this this is the place we are inserting okay all the fields are there name customer phone everything is there pan card is missing then you can just put a pan okay now just come here and just close this and just save it by giving a proper uh, email id save it so success here is the record id okay once your record is saved then generally record id will be created okay so it's success now generally okay now you go to customers you see uh, refresh 36 right we are creating 36 it's created okay you you create from here also it will create a uh, data my pan number is this one okay save it it says success here is the record id okay so now this is how we can just generally handles the errors or exceptions in the apex class as well as in the ara component so now this is heavy stuff i can say for you maybe i am generally in a kind of training nobody will generally sh uh, show you write this much of code because generally whoever is listening they'll feel heavy right so but it's very good for you okay whatever errors generally we will see in the real time also we are seeing now okay uh, so you just practice as it is or whenever you try you try this way same way like you don't provide a name and see what kind of error you will get you don't do a insert you see what kind of errors you will do okay so you don't provide something which is mandatory okay you and and wherever you wanted to enter numbers enter a text and save it and see what kind of errors you will get okay and and see how to handle this in the javascript and how to handle this in the try catch block okay that's all generally learn same as it is then you will see definitely these kind of things will be using in your project as well okay so this try catch block always will be using this try catch block is something called exception handling okay always will be how to write this whenever there is an insert statement or whenever you see there will be an exception to prevent exceptions what will happen if i don't write this means uh, generally you will see a kind of exception which is not understandable by the user okay you can even write a uh, some message here instead of this message you can say there is some error are based on this message you can write okay there will be a, a email id is incorrect you can write your custom email, uh, custom things like if if this message contains a uh, email contains a pan or whatever the based on your message you can write a custom a custom message also means um, your email id is incorrect your pan is incorrect like that okay so that that's all about uh, exception handling so let's see tomorrow we are just creating a data now today with some fields right some fields we are creating a data what if you have 100 fields like this you are now having five fields you created a five attributes 
okay to store name phone email if you have 100 fields 100 fields you will declare here 100 attributes will declare here and you will get 100 times like this get component dot get name phone email other some xyz fields like that 100 so what will happen large number of fields will be there here okay uh, I mean large number of attributes you you are you need to get and then whenever you send also large number of parameters you need to send here man name phone x y z like that so so many parameters you need to send so many uh, uh, like attributes you need to get as well as so many attributes you need to declare here so it's very typical process are very 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 different right or very difficult right so instead of this we can use a object reference directly okay that's a other approach and after that we will discuss about lightning data services even uh, there you just directly use a uh, lightning data services with a set of fields that we will see that tomorrow okay two examples one is instead of creating these many attributes directly use lightning input then here put a object name dot method name only one attribute you will declare here okay and then directly use the object dot field name so automatically it will get the field uh, data okay so we'll see that tomorrow thank you uh, that's all for today any questions